the euphoria that greeted the resumption of commercial flights in the Upper West region suddenly ended on a dull fad after 17 months of its operation by Africa World Airline. Since then, there have been several visits made by ministers from the aviation ministry to the airport to address themselves of factors which has halted the otherwise move operations of commercial flights at the airport. The halting of commercial flights at the World Airport, according to Abbas Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali, has impacted negatively on the lives of the people. Business people used to travel to Accra, do their businesses, and come immediately. It is no longer the case. We now have a regional hospital, and we are in talks with consultants in some of the facilities in Accra, and they agreed to always come here. But because the flights are no longer operating, they are unable to come. We have a university here, University for Business and Integrated Development Studies. They want to mount a law program here, and most of the lecturers are based in Accra because the flights are not coming. They are unable to mount the program. So all this are affecting the forward march of the Upper West Region. Members of the Upper West Regional House of Chiefs in their last meeting with President Ekufado a few weeks ago appealed to the latter to work on the challenges which assaulted the operation of the commercial flights from the War Airport. President Ekufado therefore tasked the Transport Minister Kweku for ACMA to ensure that these challenges are worked on. Together with officials of the Civil Aviation and the Ghana Airport Company, he took a tour of the War Airport to acquaint himself with the challenges to enable him to do a quick fix on them. Notable among the challenges was the sighting of telecommunications marks on the path of the flight at Mangu and Poguri, who the minister said will be removed. My information is that this matter had come to the notice of National Security, Ghana Civil Aviation, Ghana Airport Company had, had complained, NCA, that all complained to the company, giving them directive to remove them. As of today, they haven't done so. I think that it's our, it's our responsibility to remind them of their obligation, the obligation of remove, removing the mask that they have erected there, so that it will allow the planes to come. We are going to give them a reminder, and I'm hoping that this time they will listen to us. If they don't do so, I think that it is our responsibility to create safety for our people. The planes will come. We are not going to allow the mass to be a standing block on our way. The planes must come and they will come. Mind you, this is not the first time such a fiat has been issued and went on unheeded to. Will it change this time round? I think I did promise you that our will come. They will only come if the mass is not on the, on the flying path. So if I said the hour will come, it means that the mass will not be there. We need to give them time, and the time is now. Mr. Kweku Isiema was not happy about the encroachment at the war airport. This land is going to be used for the general good of everybody. I will not allow individuals to come and encroach on our lands. The land that government has acquired to build an airport for the people of this country cannot be encroached by certain individuals. They have encroached it, but we are going to use the legal means, the lawful ways to make sure that they don't come back. The transport minister did a call on the overload of the water to Arizona area, now for city city people the fourth and his subjects to brief them on his mission in the Arizona area before heading back to the war airport to fly to Accra. The people of the Upper West region have lost count the number of times ministers do come to this airport for inspection. It is their hope that it will not only be the last, but it will ease their burden on air travels in the region. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wa